found the cutest place in Liberty Station, and it's called Liberty Public Market. Um, it has like a bunch of different food kitchens in it, and they're like places that don't have like a normal restaurant, so people can like try them, and hopefully they'll like get enough money to open up a restaurant. Um, I got this place called Kebab, <laughs> Kebab Craft, um, and it's like Mediterranean food. I got the plate with steak and a salad and rice and hummus and pita bread. Um, I already ate it, but the rice was really good. The steak was okay. Um, the salad was really good. I got extra feta cheese on it. And then the hummus was really good and the pita bread was really good. And I got the garlic sauce, which the steak was really good with the garlic sauce in it. So I would definitely recommend. Um, also this place is like really cool if you just wanna try new places, but like there's so many options. You can just walk around and it's super cute. Also, my boyfriend got the pig's gig. That's what the place is called, it's like barbecue food. Um, he got the pulled pork and it was really good. And then he also got the mac and cheese, which that was all right. It was a little bit bland. Um, but yeah, besides that, the, the pulled pork was really good. So I would definitely recommend both of those places. Um, I think we're gonna walk around and hopefully find a dessert place. However, I think a lot of these places close kind of early. Um, like around seven, so we'll see. So this is the place that I got. It's called Kebab Craft. Super cute little kitchen. A lot of these places are closed already, but this one's like CBD oil. Um, that is a, I believe like different type of like cooking oils and stuff. And then that is a soap company. It has like a bunch of different soaps. And then down there's like a little sushi stand. And I believe that's like a clothing store. And there's one of the places called White Rice. And then there's a little chicken place, acai bowls and crepes. And then down there's like a little ramen place. And there's a coffee place and empanadas. Um, I think this is like Louisiana food. And a bunch of food down here, Italian sandwiches, rolled tacos, a little like Hawaiian grill. And this is like fresh food. I think it's coming soon. This is the burger place. It's called Rad Burger. And then Thai food, pasta, which is like make your own pasta. It's pretty cool. And then there is this little dessert place, which I think I'm gonna get dessert from here because it looks really good. And there's like a little candy shop slash different popcorn flavors and boba. This is like a little boba place slash, I don't know what kind of food that is, but they have food. And then there's a little jewelry shop, super cute. And clothes. And there's another Thai place and a lobster place and then nachos and a little taqueria. Also, this is the barbecue place that my boyfriend got the pig's gig. And then this is like a little pizza place next to it. And then there's like a little beer place over there. It has like a ton of different beers and a little CD shop. Okay, so I just got home and I ended up getting that dessert place and I brought it home with me because I was too full to eat it there. But um, overall, I would definitely recommend that place. I think it'd be really cute for like a date or even like um, to go with your friends. I think it's like really good for if like someone's picky um, and like you want to try something different than them. There's like so many different food options and then you guys can just take it and eat it together. Like in there's like different tables everywhere. Um, I would definitely say it's a little bit pricier. My um, Mine was 20, like $2, I think. And then same with my boyfriend's, I think his was like 22. And then the dessert place, most of the desserts were like $10, 10.50. I got creme brulee, it was 10.50, I believe. 
And then I also got um, a piece of chocolate pie. That was $10.52, except for I didn't have to pay for the chocolate pie because she was going to put it out on the display and it like kind of just like fell over a little bit, not on the floor or anything, just like on the display. And so the little corner got a little messed up and she said, um, since it fell, like they're not allowed to sell it since it got a little messed up in the corner. Um, so I got the cake for free. So I haven't tried those yet, but I will try them and let you know how they are. And then I'll show the desserts too. Um, right now so the desserts came in this cute little box it looks like this um and i don't know how to open it so okay so i figured out how to open it um this is the cake slice it's super cute it literally like the corner it's like barely messed up i don't know if you can tell um and then that's the creme brulee and they put like these cute little like labels on it but it's actually made of chocolate so you can eat it also, I just wanted to add on, um, so I was talking to the girl and they have a kitchen in Mission Valley and they bake all the de their desserts there daily and then they take them over to their, like, where they sell them at um, the place that I was at. And so they don't bake them there. They bake them in the Mission Valley area and they do it like super early. So it's like completely they're like all fresh, like all done that day, which is really cool. So, yeah. Okay, so I'm probably only going to take a bite of each because I'm really full, but I wanna try it like while it's still, I guess like fresh. So I decided since I'm at home, I can record my like reaction of eating it because I'm more comfortable here rather than like recording me eating in public. Cause I think that's weird. So, I mean, if you do it, fine but the creme brulee is really good I like it definitely like creme brulee creme brulee is also really hard to find I feel like you can find it at like a lot of like fancy restaurants but I feel like you normally don't find it at just like a dessert place. So that's kind of cool. And I'm gonna try the chocolate cake. Okay, so I'm gonna try the chocolate cake now. Um, I don't really feel like getting a plate dirty, so I'm just gonna eat it like out of here. But let's see. Oh, it has like a little pie crust at the bottom too. You can see that, but. Mm. I don't think that's pie crust. I don't know what that is, but. I don't know if I like that. It's definitely more dark chocolate. I don't really like dark chocolate. Um, it's very rich. If you like dark chocolate, you'd probably like it. I don't really know what this bottom part is. It's like kind of crunchy almost. I personally don't like the cake. I like the creme brulee, but not the cake. So, I mean, if you like dark chocolate, you might like it, but I don't really like it. All right, so. Um, let me know what you guys thought about this video and if there's any specific places that you would want me to review from the market because I think I want to go back and try some other places for review there because um, I really liked it. it was super cute but I think I'm going to try and go back during the daytime so um, it's like everything's more open and it might be like a different vibe. But yeah, so let me know if there's anything that you guys want me to try from there or even if there's anything else that's not there that you guys want me to try and give a review for you guys. And I think that's all for this video. So thanks for watching.